next, it's a heavyweight collision between Shane Carwin and Stefan Skyscraper Strew. Stefan Strew making his way to the world famous octagon. Stefan Struve is a towering, almost seven foot tall monster with great striking and beautiful submission technique. He uses his height well on the feet and on the ground, and when he wraps one of those long arms around your neck, it's like a python. Stefan Struve, ready to throw down and put on a show. Shane Carwin, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Carwin is a knockout machine and his first 12 MMA fights all ended with him putting his opponent away inside the first round. He's extremely athletic and was a highly decorated wrestler and football player in college. Shane Carwin, fired up and ready to go. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He stands six feet, 11 inches tall. Weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of Beaverwick, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper Strew. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado. He is the former UFC Interim Heavyweight Champion, Shane Carwin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. Okay, Stefan Strew, Shane Carwin. And we are Let's underway. Fight. Joe, this four-man tournament will decide who becomes the next big right hook. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Carwin is fatigued. He's got the clinch. Nice sprawl, good takedown defense. Wow. Oh, looping hook there. Looking for the takedown. Both guys staying in tight. Both men exchanging. Make him reach it and make him pay. Nice oh, big shot body. to the body. He pulls the legs out, he's got him down. Nicely done. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. Push forward, push forward. Don't retreat. Carwin is cut open. And now he's answered. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land. And the shorter, more effective punches are getting there first. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. What an exchange. Oh, another, another one. big strike. Oh, he recovers. Duck cover and the uppercut scores. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Swing and a miss. 
Fast hands. Good battle inside. He's got double underhooks here. Our first round is in the books. Ah. Joe, both fighters seem determined to keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. Use your range. A lot of turns. Be sharp with that. You gotta work. You gotta get your offense. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking for... So you've got to stay on balance. You've got to keep moving forward while you're punching. And you can't stop in one place. Okay? When you're done punching, you're moving. Okay? All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Some unbelievable striking took place. Here's that staggering counter that landed. And here was that spectacular counterattack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang! And here's another amazing counter. This is top of the food chain striking right here. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick. Shandella gets us set for round two. Here we go, round two. Let's fight. Get that double going. Get that double going. Show him the job. Show him. Tap, 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 tap. tap. Big right hand. Double jab, straight hook. Let's go. Now oh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Control the clinch. Got him pressed up against the cage here. Try to get a takedown if you can. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant... Oh, that one dropped him! Somehow he's able to get up. He's got the double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Trying to get the takedown. Good sprawl. Nice right hand. Beautiful hook. Backed right out of it, though. Oh! Beautiful flying punch! Side control. And oh! Horrifying ground and pound from the top! Oh, but he recovers. Joe, this place is going wild. Oh, reversal. Oh, he got reversed. He ate that one. Oh, big right hand! Oh! Good it call. is all over! TKO victory! Shane Carwin with the victory! Here we see it one more time. Look at it from this angle. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Shane Carwin! Shane Carwin earns the victory tonight inside the Octagon.